First, I want to know how you would describe initiation. On a personal level or from an audience's perspective? On a personal level. Initiation is my life. See, I just made it my life. Every decision I made in life was to get originally Dembanger made. And um, I, I made it my life goal. I made every decision that way. I wanted to make a movie that, uh, you know, I, I've, 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 I saw Scream when I was really young. And um, I don't know if you've seen Scream, the first Scream, 1996. It was a horror movie that scared me, but was fun. And I loved the characters and the, ca the cast was amazing. And I, you know, when I got to grad school, you know, in my mid twenties, I just knew that the first movie I wanted to make was an homage to what I loved about the horror genre, but also something that an audience today could relate to. Watching the movie, I have to say that it has some of the best kills I've ever seen. Um, you play around with lighting. <laughs> you play around with the gory part of it. And I'm not going to give too much away, but like crap, you guys. You know how much I talk about having a good kill and making sure that it looks great and it feels even better. And these so do, so do. And I, I mean, it's great to hear that feels like Scream really inspired you. What, um, what was the first horror movie though that you saw, no matter what age, that scared the crap out of you? Honestly, it was Scream. It was. You know, I, I was not allowed to watch R-rated films as a kid. I, I watched cartoons and I watched Nickelodeon. I watched Rugrats and Doug and, you know, cartoons that, that you know, I just watched like Doug the other day you know, just like, cause I was like, hmm, I'm gonna take myself way back, you know, cause you can do that with Hulu now. And, you know, I saw Scream. I would say before Scream, a movie that really scared me, or maybe this was after Scream, was Anaconda. I hate snakes. They scared the crap out of me. You know what I will say is before Scream, I would watch like Dateline or like those true crime um, documentary segments on like, you know, Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer, creepy ass, creepy ass people. And, you know, they're just, there's just something about the human mind that draws you to that. And, uh, you know, those stories emotionally touch people on all levels. And so, you know, that, that scared the crap out of me. And then Scream was ultimately the big, the big one. With initiation, there's so many layers to it. And one of them I would say is that there's a lot of, um, it's pretty dramatic. Like there's a lot of drama to it and there's twists and turns and moments where you're like, wait, what? Um, and I feel like a big part of that obviously is the way it looks, um, the way it's shot, holy crap, uh, the color correction, and also the cast. The cast that you guys have is just fantastic. I am a big One Day at a Time fan. I'm a big This Is Us fan. And to see Isabella Gomez be there, like, holy moly. Uh, tell me more about bringing Isabella on. Isabella, she is a gem. I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's interesting, actually. She came on very late in the game. We were about two weeks out uh, for production and our, our uh, we, you know, had you know, been in talks with somebody else for Kylie. And uh, we had already cast Roy Gutierrez and I was actually meeting with him. And he says to me in a Starbucks, he goes, do you watch One Day at a Time? And I was like, yeah, that's the show that, that you were on, like the remake. And he said, I think Isabella Gomez would be really great for Kylie. And, you know, the other, uh, the actress that we had for Kylie before had schedule conflicts with the show. And Isabella, um, you know, Freud gave me your info and I sent her the script and she immediately said yes. And um, our casting director, casting director uh, Ricky Maisler, she's the one that brought John to us as well. A casting director is an, is an artist, an artistry in itself that I had never had experience with before this movie because I would always write movies for actors that I went to school with or like actors that I thought were good in theater school. And, you know, it's like, being able to like have an actor who can really play that role is one of the most, it's 90% of your, your job as a director. And I, when I met with Isabella, you know, she just, you know, I hadn't actually met her. She just said to me, I know Kylie, I know this girl, 
and I want to play her. And I was like, I didn't even require an audition. I just watched her on the show. And ultimately, I knew everything I needed to know that she could really do that role well. Can you guys just like feel the just like bubbliness of like, oh, I want to talk to you guys about this. Um, but yes, yeah. I really, I really highly recommend everyone watch this. I have one final question for you. What, sure. what was one of the biggest, like, funnest, craziest moments that happened on, on set that you can share that also isn't spoiler filled? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> well, we filmed this movie in 16 days. So the entire experience was a fun roller coaster ride. And I think that that comes through in the film. We've had, we had our, our costume designer got hit, you know, by a car. We were filming an overnight at 6 a.m. Her coach got in a, a car wreck. And our producers, like, she's okay, thank God. The next day, and that was after our biggest, like, biggest, like, stunt day. Um, but I would say the, the scene that I had, you know, one of the most fun times shooting was the climax. We had to film that climax student affair scene in one day, uh, half a day, really. And so we had two cameras and I pretty much from like, you know, when the girls go into the computer room up until the end, we filmed it all in one, like, like one performance, like a play, because in doing so, you're going to be able to get the performances of the actors that you needed. And they weren't, you know, it, it was just so fun. It was, it was what like theater and directing and working with actors and art and making really fun movies is all about. Gosh, that just sounds so fun. Like, I just want to jump into one of your sets and just be like, let me just watch. It just My sounds so great. It sounds so fun. <laughs> um, I really thank you for initiation. And I really thank you also for Isabella uh, for, for giving her so much to really work with and for those kills. Those kills. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And thank you for chatting with me and hanging out with us. My pleasure. Thank you for watching the movie.